It must have been owned by some hippies. Living color, it says. And on the back it says... Oh, Sugar Shack. Sugar Shack. So and this says blown here. It was totally painted like there. So yeah. it was white, this was blue. Powerlifting champion. Hey, stay out of the way, I'm gonna push it over. There goes the 1959 Oldsmobile Derby car. Fifty-nine Olds Derby car heading for the crusher. Yeah. This is like the straight poverty model. Radio delete. Plain horn button. Two door. are tumbleweeds. Once they mature, the stem breaks off and they blow. There's tiny, tiny little seeds in there that just spread everywhere as they blow. Hungry, hungry caterpillar. Off in the tumbleweed buffet. You can either find a real small flat blade that'll fit in, or if you just take a ziz wheel and slot them, turn them out with a flat blade. Yep. They sell clutch head sets, I think eBay and they're around. I don't know if it has a flex 
you might even find some of the square heads might turn them i'm not sure so joe bought these three cars the fords oh man <laughs> that could be huds in there that could go with that piece so we just had a guy email about Chevy pickup headlight buckets. I said, and no, I don't know where there's any at. And then we come out here, and here's a pair of them. So these three will be headed to the Rust Ranch. Ford two-door, Studebaker bullet nose, and this 51 Ford. Somebody used an artillery wheel on that Ford. I think so. Luft and lacrosse. Was it eight B A V eight car? Was. A lot of parts got sold off these. Probably before they came here, and probably a lot after. Yep. So we got our first Studebaker bullet nose in the batch. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's those cute little It doesn't follow the line, so those aren't necessarily Ford, they were just aftermarket just, kind of lower. Yeah. Something out of the catalog that if you fit a car that was close enough you could drill your pristine fenders and install them unless they've got clips. This was like forest green. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. This was like forest green, Siri. <laughs> yep. Yep. So I told Joe about the uniqueness of this fold down carry all DeSoto. So he spared it. And pretty much most all these vehicles were bought by collectors. Very, very few are going to get the munch of the real old stuff. And Really, it's just the pretty junky stuff. So, this 49 Chevrolet here, it's gonna get the munch. So we're saving a few pieces off of it. When I get the chance, I take these firewall tags, cause that's kinda like the car's tombstone. Let's drill the rivets out, and I've got a collection of these. Maybe one day I'll put them on the tombstones and make a little graveyard. On the back of this old car, we have found a relic. This is a Ward's gasoline hot plate. So similar, probably to a old gas heater like Southwind or like what the Corvairs or Volkswagens had. It's got a little fuel gauge in it. You know what it does not have? An Underwriters Laboratories decal. I searched the whole hot plate and I didn't find one. Gotta, gotta guess why they don't make them anymore, but leave that to your imagination. Well, there's not much left of this 49. Not much left. That was at Plymouth, yeah. Watch out, come back. Okay.
Vermeer Baylor. Vermeer Baylor on a 68 LeSabre. Hold it! There you go. Good! Good! We're on. Sweet. Is he moving this? Yeah, there's a block here. If it gets shoved forward, that'll catch that quarter. There's a four speed transmission right here, too. All right. Be careful of that wishbone if you're going to twist on that. And that rocker panel too. Man, he's so careful. There goes a homeless rabbit. Yeah, it's good. I think it's gonna be right on that headlight though. Well, no, it's just short enough. Um. This looks okay. We might need two buys on these or they'll just be loose if you wanted to spread the weight. Oops. 
Okay. I think it's the cross, that V piece. That's always what hits first. Riviera's home. I dropped a battery in here. We've got a 73 to 455. This is just as we drug it on the trailer, completely as is. We're gonna see if she'll do anything. We have an ignition buzzer. Here goes nothing. Okay, we have a bad starter. It's running, but it's not engaging. So in my world, that's a sign of a bad drive. It's not kicking out. Back for day two to load cars. It did rain a lot more than we thought it was going to last night, so the roads were super sloppy getting here. Joe beat me here today, so we're going to see what it's like out here and get another load. Some of these cars we bought because they were good, viable projects. Others we bought for parts, and this Plymouth is one Joe got for parts. So the intention is to cut the thing up where it sits, trade the rest into the crusher, and I think I have a bit of an idea what's about to happen here. You ready? I am ready. Camera's rolling. I wasn't gonna do it until you showed up. Yeah. Appreciate that. Good! Hold it! Hold it! We need to stack some tires under there. So that thing doesn't go all the way over. He's 75 feet ahead with the diesel truck running and Got to kind of yell loud so he can hear. See how rusty this old thing was. Goal of this is the overdrive the car. <laughs> transmission. Hurrah! Hurrah! Boy, that's about the cleanest one we've ever taken out. Yeah. Won't have to dig too hard for bolt heads. Take a look at what's up in the crusher piles. The Rambler wagons made its way closer to the jaws of death. Really a pretty rough car. A lot of that stuff's been pillaged already for parts. Far enough as we are from home, it's just not possible to save every old vehicle. Let's see what's died here. This is the 49 or 50 Chevy. We sawed the nose off on the bottom, and then on top, that was a real parted out 49 or 50 Ford. Some farm machinery between them. You 
pulling that transmission out and you literally NASCAR pit crewed the thing out of there. That was like literally two and a half minutes ago we pulled this car over. <laughs> On to the next one, whatever that is. Found the leak. Small block. What is it that is. Mean? I mean, other than what that is, is that? This is the largest displacement factory speed leaks heavy. So what that means is guys like me that like them stock and don't LS swap everything. Have what does it mean to potential buyers? Potential buyers? Uh, They'll pay up. Gordon doing a little rock hounding out here. Lots of rocks to pick from out here on Rattlesnake Hill. What do we find? Well, I think it's calcite. Okay. And uh, see, it's got the, it's got these notches. Oh yeah. Grows wild out here. Yeah. Let's see, you got it. Look, I think this is quartz crystals here, and this is calcite. <laughs> In this nodule, I'm going to take it and cut a square, a cube out of it. Oh, yeah. Will it 
stay together enough without uh, fracturing? Probably. I cut. I cut some dis. Some of the calcite that I. It, it's in the truck. I'll show it to you. It's pretty neat. All right. It, it's uh. You could knock it apart, but it. You know. It'll. It'll stay together. <laughs> Hold very still, this won't hurt a bit. It's got the cooling fluid with the extra silica abrasive. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fake 54 Ford cap, but pull it out. It only only works for one model. Yeah, V8 only. You can't put that on your six cylinder car. That's <laughs> <laughs> aftermarket, right? Yeah. Can't, can't put that on your inline six car. That's a good wall hanger. For someone like you. That carcass looks pretty good. You can go go till the pooch is out. Okay. Now unhook it and bring it back here, Gordon. Oh, well, get ready. Get ready. I'm in the blast zone. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> there she went. That's so old, it's still a natural rubber tire. Yeah, the dust make you sneeze. 
on a bit of a archaeological dig here. Better at least have the camera rolling in case this explosion is better than the first one. <laughs> yeah, that tube's got a pinhole because it went right back down. Archaeologist Howard Carter. Yeah, Howard Carter. When he opened Put, King pulled, Tut's tomb. Oh man. The sugar shack. Sugar shack. This one's going up quick. Be ready to shut that off. That's probably good. That compressor's fast. This hubcap is screwed on here. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. How do you get that? How do you get it to one latch? Now that I'm not These sure. Ones were, they, had, they had those ones here. Go ahead. Try it. Yep. break loose it's gone right. half a turn yeah it'll roll let's just yeah. roll this down we'll just let's grab our tool lengthen the chain then and yep. Must have been owned by some hippies. Living color, it says. And on the back, it says, Oh, Sugar Shack. Sugar Shack. So this, this says blown here. It was totally painted like there. So yep. it was white, this was blue, that Black, was blue. Yeah, that's blue on the bottom, that's baby blue there. It's yellow up here. With the visor. Got somebody ganked the medallion for me. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go hook up the trailer, turn around, hook up to the. There's Russian, Antonin Popov. <laughs> You're, you're too 
far that way. So on this muddy day, we were the only people crazy enough to be out here. Not even the crusher guy came. It was pretty sloppy getting in here, but I think we'll be able to make it home all right. Quick, he's already got it up in there. All right. That was pretty easy. Reclaimed the 74 Coupe de Ville off of Rattlesnake Hill. Cars are starting to empty out, but they're still quite a few out here one more load down and we'll keep hauling we are back again for another day the scrap guy's been pretty busy out here but we've pretty much gotten about anything that was real decent for parts off of the rougher car he bought but there was one that very last car they sold was that 62 Ambassador, and I looked at that thing and I was like, man, that is just too rare of a car. I've probably owned over a thousand cars. I'm not gonna guess, it could be two. I'm not really sure. I own a couple hundred now. I've probably in my life at museums, shows, junkyards looked at probably a hundred thousand or more cars and that 62 Ambassador is the very first that I've ever seen in my life. So I think it's rare enough, unique enough car that it's worth preserving. So we've made a deal with the Crusher guy and we're going to be pulling that thing home. So he's up on the hill to get that thing snatched and put on a trailer. We've made the executive decision on the Studebaker that there's just not enough of this car left and it's too far from home to really justify hauling, so it's gonna get the knife. Gas tank strap. It's like one of those lowrider dancing bed pickups. You ever yeah. seen those? Those lowrider dancing bed pickups? Yeah. <laughs> Front clips loose.
this vulture. All right. All these kids are smoking all these cars, right? Right. Hey. Hey. Yep. Why are they crying, Tim? I don't know. <laughs> Some of them have to die. Not every car gets restored.